This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to do a product review. I want to review the Harris line of bed bug products, especially the 5 minute bed bug uh, killer. And the reason uh, is because a lot of people have been commenting on my videos that I talk about Crossfire pointing out how this is the same thing as Crossfire. And I'm going to explain in this video why it's not, and I'm going to explain whether or not you should think of purchasing this Harris line of bed bug control products. If you really like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you uh, uh, and consider subscribing to my channel, it does help out a lot. I really appreciate everybody hanging out with me, uh, even though I was sick for about a month, almost a month of September, didn't make hardly any videos at all. I really appreciate my audience. Uh, we grew even a thousand members back in September, even though I was sick, and I really appreciate everybody kind of hanging out with me, uh, even though, you know, like I said, I'm ill and I can't make my videos. But um, anyway, let's let's talk about this product. Let's get off the mushy stuff and and talk about killing bed bugs. All right, so you've bought this Harris uh, pest control product, and you want to know how effective it is to get rid of bed bugs. So one of the reasons that Harris came out with this line of uh, bed, bed bug control, you know, pesticide, is because in the industry, we have run into a big, a serious problem. I should say a big problem, a serious problem. It's a serious problem with pesticide resistance. So pesticide resistance, because before Crossfire, before Apprehend, before Temperate, uh, we had you know, synthetic pyrethroids, uh, and even before pyrethroids, we had things like DDT. Um, but you know, the pyrethroids, the bed bugs are starting to develop an immunity to pyrethroids. And if you check my latest video, which I'll post a link here, uh, that I go over how to eliminate bed bugs with repellents. Um, this is this is really difficult to do because most of your repellent pesticides are. Uh, like I said, synthetic pyrethroids are, you know, pyrethrin-based chemicals. And these are things that bed bugs have started to develop a resistance to. So Harris and MGK, and well, actually MGK is the one that produces Crossfire. They're the ones that allow Harris to use their product because it is patented uh, technology. So they would have to buy rights to be able to um, supply the pesticide. But what it is, is, is Harris has uh, partnered with MGK in order to produce pre-mixed crossfire pesticides. Um, it is the same active ingredients as, pe and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put up here and compare the labels and show you how they're the same. They're the exact same pesticide. And you, you can compare the labels yourself, but here's the difference. In crossfire, now, when you pre-mix Crossfire, I mean, you mix it yourself, not pre-mix, but when you mix Crossfire on your own, and you've got this pesticide that's already mixed up, ready to go, uh, there's a big difference there. Because if you think about the, the label of Crossfire specifically says that your chemical needs to be used, and this is the, the completed solution you've made with water and crossfire. It's uh, 13 ounces of crossfire, 115 ounces of water equals 128 ounces of finished solution. This is what crossfire is made of. Um, once you mix it, you have to use it within the first 24 hours after mixing. Okay, so Harris has come out and pre-mixed it for you. All right, so you've got your 13 ounces and you've got your 115 ounces of water, 13 ounces of Crossfire. And then they take that pesticide and 
they stick it out on the shelf. Now, how many 24-hour periods do you think that chemical has sat on the shelf? Let's not even talk about how long it took to get to the store where you purchased it, which one of the stores that does have it is Home Depot. That's one of the ones that sells uh, the Harris product line. So you, they've, they've manufactured it. Um, it's shipped on a truck, and then it's sat back in the storeroom, and then it's put out on the shelf. So how many days do you think it's been sitting there pre-mixed, you know, for your uh, convenience? Do you really think it's going to be as effective as something that the label specifically says has to be, uh, it has to be used within 24 hours of mixing? So that's one of the problems with these pre-mixed pesticides. And it's not just Crossfire. Uh, or Harris, it's uh, there's lots of these you know chemical companies out there that 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 market this to the consumer as a convenience kind of thing. It's it's so convenient to have the pesticide already mixed. It's so convenient to just go and buy that little jug. It's got a little sprayer already attached to it. You just go around and you can be your own pest control dude, and that's just not reality. You know, one of the problems with home defense is that people are having to use it more often than the label even advises people to use it. And why do you think that is? Because the longer a chemical is mixed, it goes stale. You know, it's true. Pesticides actually do go stale and they they separate from water because the whole point is it needs to be emulsified within the water in order to make a pesticide work. Now, as chemicals sit on the shelf, the active ingredients will actually separate out of the water. And when you start spraying, you might get a whole bunch of active ingredient right off the bat because it's on the very bottom of the can. But then after, what, two, three, four minutes, you're spraying nothing but water, you know, everywhere. And so it's just not very effective. And people will say, well, what if I just shake it up and mix it? Well, that might work with some chemicals, but it doesn't work with all chemicals. You know, this is, we're talking chemistry here. Not every chemical stays emulsified within water. Not all pesticides do. In fact, when you add pesticides to water, a lot of times you have to use them within a time limit just because they will separate and change into something that won't work in a sprayer anymore. It'll clog the sprayer, and this is one of the things that Crossfire does. If you have Crossfire and you mix it yourself, or you're in pest control and you've done this on your own and you know what I'm saying is true, it turns into this jelly gelatinous goo in the bottom of your spray tank. And you, you really, you're like, you might have used it, gone out, killed some bed bugs, had maybe, you know, a sixteenth of a tank, just a little bitty bit left in the very bottom, and then you forget about it. You forget, oh, I need to wash out that tank. And you come back a week or so later, you need to do another bed bug job, so you pull out your tank and you get ready to mix, and you're like, oh, that slime stuff's in the bottom of my tank. Now I can't use it. I got to clean it out. And boy, it's a lot more work to clean it out when it's turned into a sludge in the bottom of your sprayer. And not only does it turn into a sludge in the bottom of your sprayer, it turns into a sludge inside your hose, inside your wand, inside your, you know, everything that the chemical has been inside, it turns into like this white gelatinous goo. And if you think that's not happening in the bottle of Harris bed bug concentrate, bed bug pesticide, whatever they call it, the bed bug five minute kill, oh it is. It is happening in that in that jug. It is going to happen in that jug and it is not going to be as effective as mixing it on your own. And so let's get to the ratings because this is what you watch a video for, at least this is what I always watch videos for. I want to know what you know people actually rate a pesticide what what do you think about it all right i'm the professional i'm the one that mixes chemicals i use pesticides every single day i'm getting ready to go use pesticides in about 15 minutes as soon as i arrive at my stop i'm going to use pesticides so how do i rate harris five minute bed bug killer so honestly this is going to be two ratings. It's going to be a two rating system. It's going to be two separate ratings. 
So, if I were to rate Harris, as far as the ease, the uh, the ability to find it as a product, the ability to get it and use it is um, probably about an eight or a nine, and that's just because it's it's really simple to find it. You can find it pretty much, like I said, Home Depot sells it on the shelf. A lot of times you can find it there. It's real easy to get a hold of it, and it's also got its own sprayer attached, which makes it really convenient for the consumer. Um, so I have to get it about an eight uh, as far as that, because those little squirt bottles, they don't work the best. They, they, a lot of times they break, they don't work. But that's 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 an eight. Effective, uh, effectiveness. Um, is probably about a three. So I don't think it's very effective at eliminating bed bugs for very long. One of the things about Crossfire is the label of Crossfire specifically states that it will last for up to 30 days, which is a month. I just do not believe, and you can go to Amazon and you can read these reviews yourself, that the pesticide has to be applied more frequently. So I just don't think that the Harris bed bug pesticide is as effective as Crossfire. Crossfire really only needs to be effective, I mean, really only needs to be applied once every 30 days. And it's very effective for the whole 30-day period. People will contact me, though, and they will say, you know, it's been two weeks and I've started noticing bed bugs again. Well, that's because the pesticide does lose its effectiveness over the period of 30 days. It will still kill the bed bugs for the whole 30-day period, but it just takes a little bit longer the longer in you're in after treatment. So, you know, if you want to apply again, you can. In fact, the label of Crossfire says you can apply once a week. I don't recommend it. I really just recommend once a month. That's all I do as a professional, and that's all I've ever had to do as a professional to get rid of bed bugs. I've never really done more frequency uh, than once a month, and I've been able to get rid of bed bugs just about every single place I've ever treated for them. Um, so, Crossfire is extremely effective, and honestly, for those that that follow me, I give Crossfire a ten out of ten. Honestly, but uh, we're not talking about Crossfire. We're talking about Harris. So, I have another rating I want to I want to use. I want to give you, and the reason I do this is because there are places in the United States you cannot buy Crossfire. New York State is one of them, but you can get the Harris product there. Um, you can get the Harris product a lot of places at Crossfire is not sold. And so, or it isn't even allowed. You know, you can't even buy it yourself. It's considered restricted in your state. And it's not restricted in Virginia. It's not restricted in a lot of the states. In fact, most of the states in the Union, you can buy it anywhere. But in New York and a couple others, it actually is restricted and you can't purchase it. But you can purchase the Harris product already pre-mixed. Now, you may have to buy more of it. You may have to buy two or three gallons, and you may have to apply more often than even the label advises, and that's not something I advise. In fact, you watch the beginning of my video, I say on the beginning of every single one of my videos, follow your label, and so that's a big concern for me because if you're not, if you have to, if you have to break the label and, and apply the chemical more often, does that mean that it's a good product? You know, that's that's an issue. Does that what does that mean? Yeah, you know, that means it's not a very good product. If you're having to break label and apply it more often, that's not a very good product. And so for those in New York, if you can get crossfire, buy it. You know, more than likely you can't. And if you so you're you really only have Harris's product, and that's the one that I would recommend that you buy in New York. So if you live out of the state or state that, that you can't purchase Crossfire in, then I highly recommend the Harris Bed Bug Kill. And in those areas, it's a 10 out of 10. You're just going to probably have to break label just guessing. I'm not for sure, but I know the reviews that I've read and people that have told me they've had to apply it like once a week or once a once every other week. Um, and that's not what the label uh actually implies on the Harris product and so hopefully this video has been effective uh, at explaining to you the uh, you know the differences between these store-bought premixed pesticides and 
uh, mixing yourself. I know a lot of people just don't like to mix themselves because of the danger of you know coming into contact with a concentrate. That's when you're going to get harmed by a chemical is when you're mixing. That's even on the state exam for Virginia. One of the questions on the state exam is, you know, when is a pest control technician at most risk? And the truth is, is when you're mixing your pesticides because there's always a chance it'll splash on you. you. Might get on your skin, on your hands, you know. You're supposed to wear gloves, but you know, gloves slip and you might get it on your wrist or something like that. You need to go wash it off right away, you know. So I understand the hesitancy in people that don't really want to mix pesticides. And like I said, it's just something else you have to kind of carry around. But once you get done with the Harris, you can, you know, rinse it out and throw it away. It's a lot easier than having to, you know, keep an extra lawn and garden sprayer kind of hanging around the house. So I can understand that. But uh, the ratings for the, uh, the, the Harris bed bug kill uh, or five minute kill, I would have to rate it probably overall about a six and a half is what I would rate it uh, after averaging everything out, probably about a six to a six and a half. So you guys have a great day. Really appreciate it. Don't forget, I got my live streams every Thursday night. Come hang out, ask questions, anything goes. You don't have to ask a question about bed bugs. You could ask a question about anything, but um, come on in, hang out with us. Uh, last live stream I did, it was almost two hours, it was over two hours long. And so hopefully we can get together, hang out, and uh, talk about some bugs. Y'all have a great day. Really appreciate it. And enjoy wherever you are, uh, whether it's daytime, nighttime, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Just enjoy life. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.